Hello, I'm Rich Brick, and I'm the headmaster here at St. Michael Academy. Thank you very much for your interest in our classical Catholic high school. It's a beautiful day here in Petoskey as we are preparing for our fourth commencement in our school's history tomorrow. We are so grateful that we'll be able to provide our graduating seniors with a proper send-off, especially given the most unusual end of our school year in the wake of the COVID pandemic. And it is in light of the recent COVID closure that I, I want to address you in this way, as I'd like to take a few minutes to reflect on the episode and discuss our plans for re the reopening of our high school for the 2021 school year. You know, there are times in a country's history that require clarity of thinking and confident resolve, a time to, re to be reminded of first principles and how they are to be applied to the crisis at hand. We live in such consequential times. As a result, I think all educational institutions like St. Michael Academy are obligated to provide their community with a definitive statement, clarifying what their intentions are for the coming, upcoming year. And so with that in mind, we are, we are proud to declare that we are determined to be open for business next year, prudently and boldly. Obviously, in light of the coronavirus, Prudence dictates that St. Michael Academy will have to take concrete, common sense measures to ensure that the health and welfare of our precious students, parents, faculty, and staff will be safeguarded. We, are, we were doing so before the closure, and we will continue to do so upon reopening. And it will no doubt involve enhanced cleaning of the facility, greater personal sanitization measures, logical rearrangement of classroom space, and similar mitigation measures. You know, we've learned a lot about the severity of the virus, how it spreads, its impact on various constituencies, and how best to mitigate its effects. And we will no doubt continue to learn more, which will inform how to proceed with the reopening of our school in the fall. We are carefully watching how other uh, communities, both home and abroad, are reopening their schools, and we're pleased to see several instances where the strictures of learning and health are successfully reconciled with minimal, minimal disruption to the ordinary learning environment. We are confident that even during this extremely fluid environment, that we have the proven capacity to adjust the delivery of our unique curricula in a way that serves the needs of the entire child, mind, body, and soul. It is this actually, actually it's this comprehensive approach to learning and formation that is the hallmark of a classical Catholic curriculum. And we are proud that despite the, re that despite the recent closure, our online learning initiative allowed us to continue the educational process for our kids when most schools could not do so. Our students and teachers were given a hands-on lesson in perseverance, and we are all the better for it. St. Michael's independence, low student-teacher ratio, and straightforward teaching style gave us the flexibility and nimbleness to adopt seamlessly an online educational model in a matter of days. And we can do so again, temporarily, if necessary. But beyond perseverance, another major lesson that we learned from the COVID closure is that online learning for high schoolers is a secondary option at best and only effective on a temporary basis. We just have too many examples where students of all capacities struggled mightily to keep up with their studies. And teachers sometimes became overwhelmed by the taxing routine of preparing, recording, producing, and disseminating lectures, lessons, and labs. Simply put, we cannot perform our academic and spiritual mission adequately online. St. Michael Academy is proud to teach the classical virtues of prudence, courage, temperance, and justice, as well as the theological virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Now more than ever, we need to form future leaders who are instilled with these virtues, allowing them to demonstrate resilience, not panic, in the face of the unknown. We must inspire and model for our students the prudence, courage, and love that seem to be in such short supply these days. And we cannot do so long-term with a Zoom seminar or a YouTube lecture. 
we pray that calm, cool, and collected decision-making will govern the deliberations of local, state, and federal lawmakers, allowing schools like St. Michael Academy to perform their mission both effectively and safely. For the rest, we continue to place our trust in God who made heaven and earth. With him, all things are possible. Our troubled world longs for the peace and unity that is promised in the gospel. And with that in mind, we at St. Michael Academy welcome all who might be looking for an alternative for their sons and daughters during these confusing times. What we offer is the truth, beauty, and goodness of our civilization through the lens of Christian love. What a wonderful, wonderful combination. And so won't you join us next year? You'll be ever so glad that you did. God bless you and God bless our country. Thank you.